Hey guys, welcome back to episode 2 of Sea Dog Survival. I'm pretty happy that episode 1 went up. It was a very big file, so pretty happy that it actually did upload with no errors. So that's, that's always good. How are you guys doing? I'm feeling pretty good about this episode. I'll try to torch this place up a little bit so you guys can see. Uh, excuse me. Let's see here. I've got nothing really. We've got some granite andesite and uh, diorite. But other than that, yeah, we've even just got a hole straight up. Let's just actually grab some of this coal real quick. We're not super low on it anymore, but it's always good to have some. Um, and it's not like we have a whole lot either. So, why am I getting block lag? This is a... My, no, I'm not open to LAN. It might just be the snapshot. Um, oh yeah, so today we were playing on 14W05B. They released a bug fix update. Basically just things like um, how the barrier blocks prior to this cast shadows. And um, that was a bug, so they fixed it. Now they no longer do. I checked that. So that's... That's pretty good. We've got 36. Ooh, some iron here. Didn't notice you before. Iron. Iron, 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 iron. So, uh, yeah. How how are you guys doing after that first episode? I'm, I'm feeling pretty good, personally. And, yeah, so drop a comment below how you're feeling right now. Love to know what you guys think of my episodes, but I also love to know how you guys are feeling. Just so that... Well, I don't really know why. Just because it's nice to know how people are. And, yeah. <laughs> Can't really think of many things to talk about at this point, so... Let's just sort of... Mosey along, making small talk. I seem to be getting some terrible frame rate issues. I'm gonna turn off smooth lighting real quick. Um... And then turn down my render distance to six chunks. Why not? Sure. All right. Um, smooth lighting is off. I, I actually kind of like how when smooth lighting is off, how it looks. Um, just because it looks kind of nice. Well, I mean, it looks really choppy, but it's kind of cool. I think. Um, ooh, Zambi. Our first mob that we have ever encountered, um, other than that creeper from yesterday's episode. But Mr. Creeper never killed us or never touched us, so that zombie barely touched us. Just nicked us right in the mouth. Right in the mouth. What a guy. Oh, oh, oh. There's lava nearby? Why else would he be? Is he suffocating? He must have been suffocating because I didn't hear the items burn up or anything. Okay, let's just brighten up this place a little bit. Make it bright and cozy with zombies just running around. One. Bam, bam, bam. Nice. Okay. Uh... Any, any iron around here? Anyone want to show up, please? Much appreciated. Much obliged. Um, let's see, do we have any iron on us? Yeah, we have some iron on us. We can make a crafting table real quick and an iron pick. Ooh. You thought you could sneak up on me, huh? Well, I'm afraid not. Because you just can't. It's impossible. Let's see now. Uh, hmm. Where's that zombie guy? Where's this walker at? Where you at, man? Oh, there you are. Hi. Sorry, I'm greeting you back from the dead by punching you in the face and killing you. Murder is not. I'm not endorsing murder, kids. Where? Where's this guy? I hear him. 
Don't think I don't hear you. Where are you? Are you up there? No. It's gonna just be like waiting for me somewhere. I can just feel it. Okay. Let's just nab up this iron real quick. Getting all the iron. All the iron we can fit into our pockets. Lots of good. Um, so I think what I want to do for our home, or our base, I want to make some sort of village. Like with a lighthouse on the coast and a boat, maybe. Like maybe sort of a harbory sort of place. Um, oh, hey creep. He's such a creep. Oh, darn it. Are you kidding me? It's mostly the lag that I'm not liking right now. Why am I getting so much lag? Are there a lot of particles or something? Um, let's turn down them to decreased. I don't really see here what I could do to make it faster. Could also just be that my computer isn't necessarily handling this snapshot very nicely. Um, let's see here. Got lots of iron now. Got 15 more iron. Um, brings our iron count up to more than half a stack so that's definitely good we can make a full iron set now which would be most helpful indeed let's see how's our armor holding up pretty well pretty well but alas more iron okay ooh nice this is a nice vein six iron okay okay leg out on me why don't you but, uh, so yeah, we've got lots of, lots and lots of meat, which is nice. Lots and lots of meat. I haven't, I didn't really do anything off camera other than just smelt some of the iron up and make the sword, but, or wait, no, I made the sword on camera, didn't I? Did I? I don't know. But, in any case, we are here, which is nice. We are playing, which is nice. And hopefully people are watching me, which is nice. Even if there aren't people watching me, that's still nice. Because I get to play um, Minecraft and post it on my channel for other people's amusement. Here we go, some more, some more iron. Soon we are going to be ironclad in iron armor. I'm not sure if I want to make like a sort of medieval harbor or a uh, futuristic, a futuristic harbor. That would be kind of cool. Or a modernist harbor. I don't know. Uh, post your suggestions down below or post your, yeah. Out of those three, Renaissance, modern, or uh, futuristic. I'd love to know what you guys think if no one does respond, then I think I might just go with a uh, futuristic harbor. Yeah, I think so. I like the idea of a futuristic harbor. So we've already got half a stack of iron ore. Um, maybe we should dig deeper, make like a proper mine today, which I think that would probably be pretty good getting some XP here with the coal. I love how now you can mine and smelt to get XP. Pre 1.3 that wasn't implemented so that's really nice. Um, a lot of these coal veins are really weird. They're all diagonal. Like exactly diagonal. Wonder what's up. Okay, let's see here. Just grab some of this andesite, maybe not all of the vein, but just some of it. So that we have some more, because the polished andesite, I have to say, is my favorite new block. Other than slime blocks, which are great for bouncy time. But, um, polished andesite just looks so clean and nice. Polished diorite looks pretty good too, but, um... Like it looks sort of marbly-ish. If there wasn't, if there weren't so many specks in it, then it would be nicer, I think. Um, how much andesite? We've got 24 andesite. Let's just grab some diorite here as well. 
And I mean, I can definitely see like things like this will be good for making patterns because you've got like a contrast here of white and gray. So that's kind of nice. Got 24 of both of them. Sounds good. Two, two, two. Okay. Um, lots of lit up caverns here. Just really helpful so that you guys can see what we're doing. Because it wouldn't be the same if you guys couldn't help me along. Um, so let's see. Bam, bam. Just light up some more of these caverns. That's some outside light. Come down here. Oh, yeah. Nice. We made that jump. Do, do, do. Come on. Let's see. Oh, nice. Some iron. Hey, Iron, I haven't seen you in a while. Where have you been? How have you been? I'm hoping that maybe by next episode... Let's set a goal for ourselves. Next episode, we should have a few diamonds. I might have to go off camera, but by the end of next episode... Well, maybe by the end of episode 5, at, le or at most, um, I want to have diamonds. A few diamonds. Maybe not enough to make a full set, but but a few. Definitely a few. I know the magic layers for getting diamonds are like 10. If you go to 10, it's the average, basically, of all of the things. Where, Where's that skeleton? Are you down here? No. He's just going to be like right behind me and I'm going to be so scared. Where are you? Thought I heard him die as well, so that's misleading. But here we go. Num num num. Eating up all the iron here. Let's just make a crafting table real quick. Get ourselves. Here we go. Ah, uh, two, two, two. Gotta get ourselves a iron pick, I think, because we're just about running out of our stone pick and yeah so I think having an iron pick will definitely be helpful definitely will be nice such such precision yes yes here we go lots of coal digging um, I'm sure next episode will probably more of probably be more of a above ground oriented episode just because i um, been doing so much underground stuff today so yeah look out for that definitely ooh nice we've got almost a stack of coal um just sort of making torches I, as I go along here so I don't just have stacks on stacks on stacks uh, hoo, hoo, hoo. I saw some iron. Yep, yeah, right here. I keep thinking that this is gravel. Well, some of it is gravel, but some of it is also diorite. They look very similar. Um, uh, apparently, diorite and andesite and granite have the same spawn rate as gravel, so we will see a lot of it, which is good because I kind of want to, if I do futuristic, use a lot of like off-white blocks and snow and andesite, or er, diorite are basically two of the best ones right now. And quartz, but quartz is a little more expensive. And we'll definitely also have to use polished andesite for something because it's just such a nice block. I love it so much. Uh, let's see here. Mm, yeah, we're going up here. Going up here. Now, my inventory isn't very organized, and I know that might guy drive you guys absolutely bonkers, but... Wait, wasn't there a cave up here? No, I guess not. Well, I think we're running out of caves to find. Like, here's... Here's one, but I haven't seen many more that we haven't explored, so maybe we will start, or maybe I'll branch mine a bit off camera, because branch mining isn't necessarily very nice to watch. So 
Oh, I remember this. This was last episode. Um, and then this down there. All right. Well, I think we've just about run out of caves here. So, hmm, I guess I will have to. Oh wait, never mind. Because personally, I think spelunking is a lot more exciting to watch than um, just straight up branch mining. So, let's see here. This will make 16 sticks, so let's just make a stack of torches here. Let's just place this one straggler. There you go. Use their stone shovel. Let's see if there's any things down here. Hmm. Yeah, guys, it does not look like it, so I guess I will um, stop right here and join you guys back once I've done a bit of branch mining and set up a little um, base maybe down there. So I would be right back. Hello, guys, and welcome back. Um, so... There's a reason that I titled this video so beautiful is because of that right there guys. First diamond we've ever found. Um, just gonna patch up this thing so we don't get mauled here or anything like that. Let's just quickly before monsters come, let's grab this guy. The ceremonial digging of the first diamond that we ever found in this survival world is going to begin once I can place a block back here. So let's just do this. Are you ready guys? Are you ready? Yeah! Diamond! Wait, why didn't it give us an achievement? I did it not to give us an achievement. Oh, it's because we didn't have acquire hardware yet. So I guess we'll just have to give our give the diamond back to ourselves afterwards. But yeah, so I just wanted to update you guys on that. I found lots of stuff. I've got already 18 blocks of redstone, um, six blocks of lapis, and like two stacks and one iron ore. So, yeah, I've been doing a lot, a lot, a lot of caving and strip mining here. So, yeah, uh, thank you guys very much for watching. If you enjoyed, be sure definitely to leave a like and subscribe for this amazing feat. Um, we've got a diamond, and nothing can change that now, guys. So, we're just gonna make ourselves a little hidey hole here. My pick is about to break right now. Yep. Okay, so let's make ourselves a second pick. Or, I guess this will be our third pick. Um, let's just throw away something. Dirt, probably, we don't need. Um, or gravel, really. So, here, let's just build ourselves another iron pick. Destroy this crafting bench. So now, guys, the good news is we definitely, definitely, definitely have enough um, iron to make ourselves a full set of iron armor, which is good because I don't think we'll really make diamond armor. Um, just because it's kind of a bit of a waste you're wasting, or you're getting like one and a half more armor points for the cost of 26 diamonds. So I think for now at least we're not going to. For now we can't really, but I mean once we've got enough diamonds to do that, I'll probably do some stuff off camera here just to get some more supplies. I don't think I really want to keep the granite or the dirt, or the string. I'll keep the string, throw that away, throw that away. Yeah, looks all good and in order. Um, let's do that. And then, 
So, yep, yeah, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed, like, comment, subscribe. And I will see you in the next episode. Make sure to leave what you think out of a futuristic harbor city, a renaissance harbor city, or a modernist harbor city you think we should do. Um, or even what kind of city you think we should make. Because I kind of want to go for the city, um, have like a treasury and things like that. Just to store all of my stuff in sort of a themed place. And I will see you all in the... Ooh! Wow! More diamonds! And this one even looks like it might be an eight vein of diamonds. We can't fall in here now. Good. I see at least three diamonds. Okay. Okay. One, two, three, four... Five, six. Wow. Okay, so six diamonds. Not bad for. Or we've got seven diamonds now. Not bad for the first episode. Or the second episode, rather. Um, let's make sure to definitely sort of block up all this lava. And I guess next time I see you will probably be in the next episode. I will have done some strip mining by then, as I had said previously. But we will probably be up on the surface building things or something like that next episode. So watch out for that. Um, and I will see you in the next episode. Bye.